These are the voyages of the starship Enterprise. Its five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Splendid computer, Mr. Spock. That is very kind of you, Captain. On my planet, to rest I is to rest. Weak. And are its natives predatory? Not generally. Really? But there have been exceptions. <laughs> I won't fight you anymore. I'm losing command. I'm losing the Enterprise. Hold on. You don't have to be afraid. Oh, on the Starship Enterprise. There's someone who's in Satan's guise. Whose devil ears and devil eyes could rip your heart from you. You won't be afraid if you use a mine. And there you have a museum piece, Doctor. Lens type, manually operated, light activated. Spare me the analysis, Mr. Spock, please. Finally finished physical on you, didn't I? Come with me, please. Is that a girl? That's a girl. I gave you something most mortals never experience. A second chance at life. And now all you can do is complain. I can't live out my days as that person. The precise meaning of the word desert is a waterless, barren wasteland. I fail to understand your romantic nostalgia for such a place. I find nothing interesting in the fact that we're about to blow up. But the method is fascinating. Really? Spock, sometimes I think if I hear that word frequency once more, I'll cry. There's no need to be uh, mad about it, Mr. Spock. It happens to the birds and the bees. The birds and the bees are not Falcons, Captain. Mac, right in the old eye. Oh, I'm sorry. In your case, it would be about here. The fact that my internal arrangement differs from yours, Doctor, pleases me no end. Well, either choke me or cut my throat. Make up your mind. Aye, and a thorough job. Did you examine Eve? She refused. Oh, come on. 